to the channel guys uh, we are going to be playing some historic ranked uh, keep grinding up the ladder right now we're gold tier 3 we're going to try and get to platinum um, going to be using this high alert deck uh, what it is is it basically just has a bunch of defenders um, some tetsukos which makes everything with power toughness one or less unblockable um, and then obviously everything of mine has zero power except for Tetsuko. Um, and then Arcades is the only other thing that has higher power. Uh, but what this is, is you have nothing but defenders or walls. Um, you play either High Alert or Arcades. And what it does is it allows all of your walls and defenders to assign combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. And all of my defenders can attack as though they didn't have defender. So, the whole point and the whole uh, objective for this deck is to get out as many defenders as possible, play a Tetsuko, play a high alert on the same turn, and then just completely destroy them in one attack. So, that's what we're going to try and do today, and I hope it works out. First thing we gotta do is find a match. There we go. So we are a couple tiers above this guy. I think he's probably. I think that's the. Well, this is actually a really good starting hand. So I got my white and lands, lots of defenders. Got some reach in case they got flyers and draw a card. Ooh, he went down to five. Say our friendly hello. They're definitely going to want to get our reach guy out there. Oh yeah, this just has to be flyers. Mono blue flyers. Get us another defender. Next turn we play. Play this. And we're able to get third defender out there. And draw a card. More card draw. Stuck on two lands. I should have scribed first. Oh well. Still hasn't drawn any lands. There it is. So this is the objective of the deck. I got all these defenders out here, right? What we do is we play Tetsuko. I'm going to go ahead and you know, admit this may be a little toxic, but give him a friendly good game. Throw out a high alert. And nothing but unblockables. GG's. That's the whole point of this deck. Is to appear harmless until I attack you for 25 to the face so that high drawing that high alert right there was actually really clutch so
Uh, so, we have Tetsuko and High Alert, but our lands aren't very good. Just because we do have the two pieces, I'm going to go ahead and keep it. We'll just deal with the lands as we go. Hello. So that land actually helps us a lot. Um, yeah, that's fine. Five, ten, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hmm, close. You can almost call it a GG. Next turn it'll be a GG. If he attacks all that again, I'll just let him kill it. Ah, uh, there we go. That works. Is he gonna play something that makes me discard now? Nope, that's a good game. Three, four, five, six. No blocks. Good game. That is the power of high alert. I think we're going to switch it up now, though. Here's my list of decks. Um, feel free to pause the video. And if any of the, if you see any of them, that you want to see me play uh, just let me know I'm um, some of these ones that have like other names like singleton or singleton um, the dominaria event ravnica event um, stuff like that things that are like are kind of event names 
our legend single cascade um, stuff like that are mainly for events so I mean if you guys don't want to see me play them I'll play them but otherwise and then these are the decks where I have cards that are banned so yeah I am gonna be showcasing a scape shift deck I just have to get four mythics so I can you know get scape scape shift um, that'll be in a future video that I do but if you guys see any deck you want to see me run slap it down in the comments and we will run it um, for now though you guys will see the infinite combo see if I can get it off so the whole point of this infinite combo deck is we get a card called famished paladin it says that whenever you gain life untap the card then we get another card called sorcerer's wand which is an equipment card which we equip to famished paladin and then so yeah we have this we have this so we actually have all of our pieces we just need more land now um, but we play sorcerer's wand round one famished paladin round two Equip Famish Paladin with Squires Div er, actually we'll probably equip it with Sorcerer's Wand round three. And then round four we do Squires Devotion and just infinitely uh deal one damage to him. So I'm hoping we can draw one more land in these next two turns. Say so friendly hello. But this card says that you can tap the creature, it deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. You equip that to this guy. Um, whenever I gain life, I untap Famish Paladin. Then you put Squire's Devotion on him, which gives him lifelink. And lifelink says damage dealt by a creature um, causes me to gain that life. And so... Because it says that this creature deals one damage to target player, Planeswalker, that means he's dealing the damage. Which means that I can then infinite one damage at him. So if I can draw a land here, then we'll be good to kill him turn four. But no, my luck, I won't draw a land. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. So it won't be turn four. That was a land. And I could have played the land equipped and then turn four equipped. And just boop, 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 boop. But it feels bad. It's just my luck to get no land. Okay, he's played a landfall deck. So he probably has lots of fetch lands. Lots of cards to let him put lands onto the battlefield. Fastwood Surge, Cultivate, stuff like that. He's playing. Okay, there's that. So we can actually equip that to him. And then next turn, equip that to them. And so next turn, we can kill him. I don't know if he knows it yet. But I'm going to keep supporting everything this man's doing. Looks like he's playing mono green. But he has white and black in there. So I don't really know. Yeah, you see it. You know you see it. You, I'm going to go ahead and say good game. You don't have any more mana to be tapped. 
So you can attack me for two. Good game. So then now we have everything equipped. We just do this. And this is the infinite combo. Doesn't matter how much life this man has. I can literally just keep doing this. That's the infinite combo deck. It's a little bit different than a normal life gain deck. But... Yeah, it's pretty fun stuff. Mm. I'm just going to showcase a bunch of different decks in this video. You guys want to, we can go to standard rank. I can show you my green counters deck. I have a mill draw, mono blue mill, goblins. Um, those are all ones I've created. I have my landfall deck, which I've showcased in previous videos. Uh, Legend Singleton Cascade. That one doesn't really work. It's more of the Cascade ability. Uh, I have a mutate deck that I kind of made, but it's not very good. We could play Brawl. And then I just actually just made this Kicker Draw deck. Or we can just do Play. That way I don't mess up my ranking. Nah. Showcase another one of these. Uh, what do we want to play? You guys want to go for Omnath? It's an elemental deck. Got Vampires, Afterlife. Let's go Afterlife. So the whole point of this is... Uh, this Afterlife deck is to... Get a card that lets us trigger our death abilities a crap ton of times so we'll keep it hello I wish I was drawing land. Did he not draw land too? He not draw land too. Do you not draw land again? He finally got a land. Good for him. He can do something.
They look pretty good. I need to get another creature out there. Nice. Oh, fuck. There's an infinite combo. Nice. Good game. That's pretty dope. I just showcased my infinite combo, and now he's showcasing his infinite combo. I'm putting this in the video, even though I lost. So, hate to end the video on a defeat, but I need to go to bed because I have to work tomorrow. So, uh, thanks for watching. And we will see you guys in the next one.